Welcome. It's good to see you again today. I'll be telling you the godly play story of the exile and return today. But before we begin, we need to be ready for the story. So we're just going to take a moment, and you can either look at the screen or you can close your eyes. And we're going to take three deep breaths. So wherever you are, sit up straight. And just take a quiet, deep breath in. And let it out. And take a second deep breath in. And let it out. And take a third deep breath in. And let it out. Okay. This story needs the desert box. We can't have all of the desert with us all the time, but so many of the important stories of the people of God happened in the desert that we need a little piece of it to help us tell the story. The desert is a dangerous place. The wind blows, and there aren't really any paths, so it's easy to get lost. During the day, it's very hot, and the sun beats down. People wear lots of clothes to protect themselves from the burning sun. And at night, it's very cold. There's not much water, and it's hard to grow food. People can die without food and water. The desert is a dangerous place. People don't go there unless they have to. The people of God, many of them, lived in the city of Jerusalem. In the city was the temple. The people of God worshiped God in the temple. And they knew that God was present there. But they weren't sure if God was present anywhere else. But they were surrounded by the walls of Jerusalem. And they believed that they would always be safe with God. But then the Assyrians came and they attacked the city. It was a terrible time. People fought and many died. Finally, the Assyrians went away. But then the Babylonians came and they did not go away. 
the king of Babylon wanted the city of Jerusalem for himself. The Babylonians tore down the wall and burned the temple. And the soldiers took many of the people of God and forced them to go with them. As they left, they turned back and saw the smoke rising over the great city of Jerusalem. And they wondered if they would ever see it again. While the people of God traveled, they had to go where the soldiers said. They had to get up when the soldiers said. They had to eat what the soldiers said. They had to go to sleep when the soldiers said. They were in exile. They could not go home. As the people approached Babylon, they wept. They hung their harps on willow trees and sang sad songs. They remembered Jerusalem. They even turned toward the city of Jerusalem when they prayed. Gradually, they came to understand that God was in this place too that God was with them when they gathered together, when they read the stories of their people, when they heard the words and ate meals together. And the king of Babylon allowed many of the people of God to work in the city. Some opened shops, And some even worked for the king. It was a shock when Cyrus, the king of Persia, came and took the city of Babylon away from the king. This new king allowed some of the people to go home. Some went with Ezra.
Then, later, some went with Nehemiah. Eventually, they came back to the city and they rebuilt its wall. The people were no longer in exile. They could go home. But do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? Not all of them decided to go home. They realized that God was in this place too. Now I wonder what your favorite part of this story was. Wonder what was the most important part. Wonder where you are in this story. I wonder if there is anything that we could leave out and still have all the story that we need. Thank you for joining me this morning. And I look forward to seeing you on Zoom next week when we gather together at this same time to hear the story again and to talk about it together. I'm scared.